The dropshipping model, what is it and how does it work? Those questions will be answered in today's video. Hey guys, it's Mr. Money here and today's video is all about dropshipping. I'm about to explain the whole business model and this is also going to be a practical guide, meaning that I'm about to provide you with the best websites you can connect to in order to get started. And so, all you will have to do is follow my instructions successfully and you can take action right after watching this video. And so drop us a like, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. I'm positive most of you guys watching this video are already familiar with Alibaba.com. This is a huge platform. It's also going to be a really important tool for our method today. But it's not going to be enough. Unless you have a full and in-depth understanding of how the business model works, you won't be able to take action. So let me actually explain how this is going to work. Generally speaking, dropshipping works like this. Clients are going to connect to your online store where they are going to make a purchase. Whenever that happens, you're going to outsource the work, you're going to get that product from somewhere else and deliver it to your customer. But don't worry about it, this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial and you will know exactly how to follow each step correctly. And so, let's see. Not only is this going to be a highly profitable business model, but it's also really easy to implement because you don't have to create your own products. You're going to outsource them. And this is where Alibaba comes into play. You're going to purchase products from Alibaba.com for a certain price and sell them to your audience for a bigger price so that you can keep the profits. And you don't need years of experience when it comes to marketing in order to achieve that. Instead, the first thing you need to do is find a suitable product to sell to a certain audience. Once you find that, that is going to be how you're making money. And of course, it is all a numbers game. The more products you sell, the more money you are making. Now remember, you can get these products on Alibaba.com, but now the question is, how are you going to approach this method? Are you going to purchase 100 items right away? Well, that might actually be a good idea because you might be able to get some discounts and so get them for a lower price. But now the question is, where are you going to store those products once you purchase them? Having a storage space is going to be quite costly. That is going to be a huge extra expense to your monthly budget. And so how do we deal with that problem? Now, of course, you can rent a place and store your items there, but that is going to be quite expensive. And I'm sure most of you guys are not looking to invest any money in this method. Most of you are starting from scratch, and that is going to be our main focus today. And here is the solution. We are not going to have any storage space. And instead of that, whenever the client makes the purchase, we are going to outsource the work, meaning that we're also going to place an order on the original website. That is going to make the process a little bit lengthier. That is the major downside of this business model. However, overall, this is going to be the best approach because you don't have any extra expenses when it comes to storage and so you can just keep all of the profits. Essentially, the client makes a purchase on February 1st, let's say, and then you're going to place that order on Alibaba. And so in a week or two, they are also going to receive their product and you don't have to worry about the shipping, the production or even the storage. And so shipping is not going to be any of our concern and we also don't need to deposit those items. Now guys, from my personal experience, finding a suitable product is going to be a key part that's going to determine whether or not your drop shipping store is going to be successful. I'm going to show you a few tools that you can use in order to build that online store and that's not going to be too difficult. I'm also going to show you how you can find a winner in terms of products. It needs to be something attractive that is going to make users want to purchase it. And if you just head over to Alibaba.com, there are going to be thousands of different items. But here's the thing, if you're just going to start selling t-shirts, I can guarantee you're not going to make any money. That is not necessarily how dropshipping works. You're not going to sell t-shirts online. Now, of course, you can implement the process and you can do that, but it is just a waste of time. You need to find a unique product that's going to stand out from its competitors. When it comes to finding a suitable product, you don't really have to reinvent the wheel. A little bit of competition research should be enough. And in order to achieve that, you can just head over to dropshipping.alibaba.com. And so at this point, you can simply research what your competitors are doing. And by simply replicating what they are already doing, you can hopefully also replicate their success. Alternatively, you can just open a new Google tab and type in best sellers on Alibaba. And the results are going to be rather unexpected, to be honest. 
Let's take a look at this article, for instance. Here's a magnetic charger that has sold thousands of copies on the website. This set of earphones is also selling really well and the list goes on and on. Now, one additional thing that I truly love about the dropshipping business model is the fact that you can actually play around. You can choose multiple products and eventually see whether or not they are selling well, pick the winners and double down on those. And so if you're just starting out, you can just grab multiple products that you think have a really high potential, list them on your online store and if people purchase them you can double down on that and just eliminate the ones that are not converting well that is how you're going to improve your overall conversion rate and that is how you're going to build a successful drop shipping online store and when it comes to finding the products alibaba.com is definitely not the only place you guys can connect to there are going to be multiple others including amazon bestsellers you can head over to that you can also get products off of eBay. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. But just to have some fun here, just take a look at the top 20 best products to sell, according to this website. These are products which actually sold thousands of copies. So let's take a look. A foldable picnic table, dumbbells, dog beds. Guys, as mentioned before, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just start selling some really cool phone cases, designs, and that's going to get you successful. Jade rollers are also highly popular. Temporary tattoos are also selling well. Massage guns, you name it. You can do some further research and you're going to see a lot of different products and some of them are quite unexpected. But now guys, remember that the dropshipping business model basically requires you to have an online store so you can generate results. And so the question is, how are you going to build that? Well, in my opinion, the absolute best tool that's going to help you in that initiative is going to be Shopify, the platform commerce is built on. Millions of the world's most successful brands trust Shopify to sell, ship and process payments anywhere. And here you can literally create your online store by dragging and dropping. And it doesn't matter what type of niche you're in, the process is pretty much the same. Sell everywhere, market your business, and even manage everything. Everything is going to be under control. You can keep track of your sales, of your conversion rate, all those stats that are going to help you improve your business. And guys, as always, YouTube is going to be the most valuable resource. YouTube is going to be your best friend. Just by typing in how to build a Shopify store, you're going to find thousands of high-value videos They are going to explain step-by-step -step what you need to do. Just take a look how to start dropshipping on Shopify for beginners. Now, of course, there are always going to be new things to learn in terms of how to select the products that you're going to sell, where to get them for a lower price and so on and so forth. You can always improve. But now that you understand the basic principle on which dropshipping is based, you can definitely move forward and try implementing this process. Remember, no shipping costs no delivery, you don't have to worry about the production. This is genuinely a beginner's dream. And if you guys choose to make use of Alibaba.com in order to find your products, you can even filter the results by choosing the country you're going to ship them to. For instance, if you're only focused on US residents, you can choose the United States of America. If you're outside the US and you want to focus on people from your country, you can choose that from this list and that's going to display according results. Consumer electronics, apparel, home and garden, vehicles and accessories, there are so many different categories here that you are genuinely never going to run out of options. That's it for announcing massive action and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.